Hey guys. Well, we're headed for a quick little trip here to Brazos Bend and thought we'd take you guys along. We got a few maintenance items and some things we want to do to try to prepare the RV for for our full-time journey and um, so just come along and hopefully uh, you enjoy the ride. This is actually the first time we've come without a reservation. Alright, that's alright. We'll see what we can do for okay. it. We just got here, we pulled up. This is the first time we've ever come to Brazos Bend without a uh, reservation, but we knew it was Sunday school starting all around here, uh, so we figured we'd be okay. They said they've got room. We're gonna go in and grab a spot, and uh, we'll be in here real soon. Hey guys, so now we've gotten here and we're set up and Stacy and I had a quick lunch because we actually got here early. We normally don't get here that early. We got here about 1230. So we had a quick lunch and now we want to do some general maintenance things. And one thing we wanted to check, we got a tip on the Tiffins group. We've been, um, our refrigerator hasn't really been cooling as good as it should. So we're trying to figure out some of that stuff. And the breeze is a little bit different how it handles the inverter and the batteries and stuff. So we're trying to uh, eliminate some things and see what might be going on. So one tip he gave me, which I think is a great one, is to while we're hooked up to shore power, the, 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 the normal logic is that the refrigerator would be running off of the shore power. But we just want to make sure that's the case. So we're going to come out to the inverter I'm going to turn the inverter off, then I'm going to go in and check and make sure the refrigerator is still on. If the refrigerator goes off when I turn the inverter off, then that tells us every it always goes through the inverter and the batteries, even when we're connected to shore power on the generator. And that could be the reason for our refrigerator not working as well. So let's give it a try. It's right in here and our inverter has an on off switch. Okay, it's that easy to turn it off. So now we'll go in and check. Uh 
Okay, so now let's see if it's on. Here's the test. It's on. So it doesn't run through the inverter when you connect it to shore power. So that the inverter is not our issue here. So now we're going to have to check something else. <laughs> So we're filming a video while we're here and actually this is the first time we're going to try to film the video, edit the video, and upload the video to YouTube all from a park. We've always uploaded the videos from our Sticks and Bricks house. So this should be an interesting experiment. So when you see the video about uh, frequently asked questions, I'm not sure what we're going to call it yet, but questions were being asked a lot. That was our first video to upload remotely basically from a park so and you may have seen that video before you actually see this video that we're talking to you about right so, so here we go excuse me come on buddy. can i sit down thank you she's in charge and the camera's cooking <laughs> there we go start no <laughs> Start. Start. <laughs> Sit. 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 Good. Okay. Let me take this off. I wish you'd call me. Did you hear me? Yeah. Can Test you hear audio. Me? Hello. Yep. I hear Hello. you. I hear me. Okay. All right. We got Star calm down now. We're gonna try again. <laughs> These don't just I, happen. Your computer. Yeah. Okay. Little things. Little details. All right. Hey, y'all. I'm Stacy. And I'm Tom with RV Texas, y'all. Welcome back. Today, we thought we would answer some questions that we've been getting lately. So, stay tuned. That's what's happening in this video. Yeah, it was kind of weird. You, you were real good until then. Okay. <clears throat> hey, y'all, I'm Stacy. And I'm Tom with RV Texas, y'all. Today we thought we'd ask some, ask some questions. We thought we'd ask some questions. Do you, have right. any, do you have any answers for us? Okay, right before you start. And I'm Tom with RV Texas, y'all. Welcome back. Today we thought we'd answer some questions that we've been getting a lot lately. Yeah, so we came out here to Brazos Bend and on a quick little trip, so stick with us and we'll answer some of these questions. How about that? Is that okay? Seems fine to me. What'd y'all think? Is it good? <laughs> and it's starting to rain. I'm glad we're not filming outside right now because yeah. it is raining. I'll let you start. Okay, so first of all, before we get into the questions, I just want to say this is the first time that we have filmed a video, edited the video, and uploaded the video from a park or a remote location from our motorhome. As long as it works. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see. If you're seeing this video, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> and if not, well, you may, you will still see this video, but maybe not when we expected you to see this video. So Tom's editing the video. Yeah, we're trying to get her done. And it's been pouring rain outside. Hey, but at least we're inside when it's pouring outside, so we're getting something done here. We've decided to do this anyway, so quick little trip, so stick with us. And stars we'll relaxing. Some of these questions. Okay, so. Okay. I think I got it. Now I'm going to send it to a file and we'll take a look at it and upload it on YouTube if we like it. <laughs> <laughs> if 
first time we've ever done it in the RV. I mean, we filmed a little bit earlier like we showed, and and now I've been editing for maybe, maybe 30, 45 minutes. And, uh, this but one's it, an easy one. It was an easy one because it's just one or two takes, and and it's it you know we're not putting any voiceovers or anything like that so it makes it a lot easier um so let's see if, let's see if it all works out <laughs> <clears throat> man this is pretty common for star <laughs> <laughs> that's why we have the seat covers <laughs> But no, they were here when we got the thing, but they work awesome for that. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but it's pouring outside. It's been raining for, I don't know, at least a couple hours. So Tom's working on editing the video and I'm back here just trying to reorganize the closet and kind of figure out where things can ride. And I wanted to show you, this is kind of neat. We found these at Costco the other day and it's a collapsible bag. It folds down to just nothing hardly as far as height. It's got little feet on the bottom. And then you just take the strap off and it becomes a storage bag or like we can use it as a hamper. It's got handles. It's uh, pretty darn cool. I kind of like it. And I was just thinking I was going to see if it would fit back here in the closet. And it does. It won't fit this way. Well, it would, but we can't close the door. So it'll ride like that. And that's pretty, pretty neat little thing. But yeah, part of this trip is just kind of doing some organization, figuring out where things can live. And so that's just what I'm working on back here. <laughs> And that's why everything is such a mess. Yep, and now Stacy is doing the thumbnail to the video. We are uploading. It may take a while. It may take a while. We don't have a very strong signal out here. So right now it's telling us what two minutes or two hours and 15 minutes for a 19 minute video. So we'll see. We'll see when you get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and over here, it's in the uploading process. It's all part of the learning curve. Yeah. Looky here. We got the video uploaded today. It worked. Um, I guess it was about 9.30, is that right? Something like that. It, it took a while. Yeah, we actually had a little issue uploading when we first uploaded. We had to stop it, take it down, and then re-upload it, but we got it going, and wow. Same day, shot the video out here at Brazos Bend, and uploaded it to YouTube, well, and fixed, you know, I had to produce the video. And the editing, we did recut after a while. We, we did more editing than what yeah, we Yeah, we had to... We had to reset everything back up, do another shot uh, to replace a part of the video, and uh, which that was that was nice to be able to do that. I mean, normally before we went, we'd just have to go with the video we had. <laughs> this time we were able to shoot a little more video and uh, fixed it, and we got it uploaded, and voila, we're on the air. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Uh, That's a first. So our batteries are, well two of them are here in the steps and they really are pretty easy to access. So I am filling them up with some distilled water. Star's helping. Aren't yep. you Star? Star's decided to help. Yep. 
<laughs> Star, look, there's everybody. Say hi. Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> so this is site 105 at Brazos Bend State Park. There are two camping loops uh, at Brazos Bend. This is the 100 loop, and uh, it's 30 and 50 amp plus water. And then the other loop is the 200 loop, and it's 30 amp plus water. We like them both, uh, but in the summer we need both ACs, so we've got the 50 amp hookups over here. We really like the sites. Uh, very shaded, and there's a dump station uh, right at the entrance to this loop. Um, but you can see it's pretty spacious. There's actually nobody across from us or next to us on this side. Slightly unlevel. It is a little bit unlevel, um, but it goes downhill a little bit toward the road. But um, not a big deal. They're paved, you know, so uh, so that's nice. And uh, the asphalt's in good condition. Um, we are going to do a full campground review on this park at a later date. This was a quick trip just to check out a few things. And yes, we did get the video uploaded. I know you saw Tom was watching it on his phone. Took us longer than we expected, but we figured out a few things. So that's a huge deal for us. Um, but we're gonna, so we came out, you know, to test, to do that and to test a few things out and uh, do a little organizing. And so this is a very short trip. So we're gonna come back here in a few weeks probably, or, you know, when it cools off a little bit and there's more wildlife active and uh, do a full campground video for y'all because this is a beautiful park. This RV, we don't have leveling jacks. It's air leveling. So every so often when we're in somewhere like this that has a downhill slope, we use our blocks to kind of give us some extra help. Yeah, we just drove off of them. You see the way Stacy had them stacked when we came in. You may be hearing the generator in the background. It's here in the front. You can see our jacks, our uh, pads right here that we had driven up on to give us another several inches to level out the coach before we before we ran the uh, air levelers. So you can even continue stacking them if you want. Yep. It's like our Legos for RVers. <laughs> and of course, Class C and travel trailers and those uh, do this all the time. So I hope you enjoyed this little quick visit to Brazos Bend and all the craziness we're kind of going through at the moment. <laughs> but uh, we'll be back here soon to do the full campground video for y'all. And we really appreciate y'all joining us on this journey as always. We'll see you next time. Safe travels and happy camping. Bye.